Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, petty officers will see an increase in high-year tenure, updates to the wear of earrings and ball caps, new incentives with the PRT, and CMP visits packed Northwest sailors. E4 through E6 active duty and FTS sailors will see an increase in high-year tenure by two years in a continued effort to improve sea duty manning. The changes are as follows. E4 will increase from 8 to 10 years, E5 will increase from 14 to 16 years, and E6 will increase from 20 to 22 years. The changes are scheduled to go into effect on August 1st. The Navy anticipates the change will give nearly 2,800 sailors the chance to remain in critical billets by the end of 2018. Read more on the change in our story on Navy.mil. Sailors who pass their BCA are within body fat standards and score an overall excellent low or better on their PRT will be exempt from the next cycle PRT. The change was announced by CMP, who believes the incentive will help sailors improve their physical readiness while reducing administrative burdens in the fleet. The changes will go into effect January 1, 2018, but will be based on sailors' performance from the second PRT cycle of 2017. Another change is the elimination of the elliptical as a PRT option. The change was made based on low use of the elliptical during the PRT and to reduce overall costs. CEOs may still approve the use of stationary bikes, treadmills, and allow sailors to swim as an alternate cardio option. Read more on our story on Navy.mil and NavAdmin 141-17. Effective immediately, Chief of Naval Operations Admiral John Richardson has officially authorized the decision to permit women to wear a hair bun through the rear opening of a command or Navy ball cap. The change was prompted by a question from a San Diego sailor on June 6th. Other changes will allow women to wear white pearl earrings with dress uniforms and route cut white diamond earrings with dinner dress blue and white jacket uniforms. Earrings must be four to six millimeters in size. Additional uniform updates can be read in our story on Navy.mil. Finally, last week, CMP and Fleet Master Chief Russell Smith visited Navy recruiters in Portland, Oregon, and sailors assigned to Naval Base Kitsap in Washington. On the trip, CMP discussed Sailor 2025 initiatives with more than 2,000 sailors and answered many questions on the recent personnel changes. CMP talked about there being a lot going on in the personnel world and it's important to meet with sailors, to listen to their concerns, and to explain the Navy's personnel announcements and initiatives. Read our story on Navy.mil for more on CMP's trip. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at Navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.